Are you able to get into the bone flinging hobby for under $100? If you're cheap like me, how about under $60? You know, I don't even want to spend that much if I'm not too sure. How about $50? For $50, you got the Nexus Pro. For $50, you have the Max Striker on sale sometimes for even less. But what if you don't even have that much to spend and you want to get in a hobby, but you want to be somewhat competitive? Well, you know what? Maybe there is an option. The X Shot Long Shot by Zuru. This blaster gives you everything you need to get started, and you can play today for 30 bucks. How can you beat that? Let's take a look under the hood and see what you got. What's up guys, DJ Darkbeat here bringing you another blaster review video. Today is a video that is long overdue. I kind of forgot about this one for a minute because I had so many other projects going on. But this blaster is friggin' awesome and for $30, it gives you everything you need. I'm a, I'm a big fan of price point and being uh, giving you everything you need out of the box to be competitive. And this is it. The X Shot Long Shot by Zuru. Now, this blaster shoots anywhere from 120 to 150 feet per second right out of the box. It gives you long dart capability, full length dart, short dart capability. It's compatible with, with just about everything out there. It's got a buttery smooth prime. It's got iron sights that comes with it. It comes with its own little scar barrel. It has an adjustable little stock. It, it, it really has everything. So, for $30, you know, Zuru and X-Shot, they make good stuff, but you know, it's not on the same quality as Nerf sometimes. Uh, let's go over how it feels. It feels real nice. Grip, very nice. This angled foregrip, very nice. It does come with uh, your muzzle, you know, muzzle brake attachment, and it comes with its own little scar barrel. Now, this really doesn't do too much. I mean, the dart kind of slides right through it, but I have some other scar barrels I'm going to show you later in the video that will work with this just by popping it in. So again, compatibility. Let's go over a little bit of what comes in the box. So you do get the scar barrel and the muzzle brake attachment. You get the iron sights that also comes in the box. You get your short dart adapter, which is compatible with dart zone products. And I, I mean, I don't think I've tried anything other than dart zone, but it is compatible with like the Max Striker and the Max Striker, uh, Adapters are compatible with this. It has got cross compatibility. It comes with a 15 round short dart mag and 20 short darts, the Ruby darts. It comes with a 15 round, right? Yeah, 15 round uh, full length dart magazine, also with the Ruby darts. So it is compatible with all different types of magazines. Uh, it has a safety over here. You know, you have your safety right now, safety off, safety on. It is a uh, ambidextrous safety, so you can hit it either or. Um, there is a couple little cool features on this one. So you do have your mag release here, your standard bullpup kind of mag release. And I do like that, it's nice and quick, very easy. But if you wanted, you can just gravity drop the mag by hitting this button right here. So you can actually, you have a thumb mag release for the short dart mag right there. That is just freaking cool. So if you want to do it on the fly, you can. Um, it's a cool little feature. I do like this mag release here. I mean, this is so quick to just boom and pull it, but that is a cool little feature to have. Uh, it does come with adjustable iron sights. Um, they, 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 they work. They're actually nice and it is adjustable. So, I mean, for, as iron sights go, they're not bad. I do have to say they're very loose. So uh, if you move this thing around, it will shift. The back one's on a little more secure, but this front one is pretty free flowing. I mean, it depends on what part of the rail, like if you put it here on the rail, it's a little more stable, but if you have it in the front of the rail, 
um, it, it's not as good. Prime, it's not a, not a bad prime at all. My uh, nine-year-old son, he he, he can't prime the, the Max Striker, can't do it. But this is the blaster that he's able to use um, in the pro level that he is able to prime. So it, it is a nice blaster. It's a little bit loud, uh, but uh, it, it shoots it shoots it shoots very well. It's a pro level blaster for bargain basement prices that comes with a lot of stuff. Uh, again, so you get your full length dart mag. Okay. And again, the gravity drop only works with uh, the short dart mag. It's just a cool little feature, but you still have your bullpup, you know, quick thumb release in the back, which is nice. Uh, again, you do have a little bit of an adjustable stock, uh, and it's nice to shoulder this. It, it really is comfortable. It's the right length, and you do have that little bit of adjustability if uh, if you need be if you need it. Uh, it really is. It, it really is nice. You uh, got plenty of places. You got a sling point here, uh, so you can put your sling on here. You got a sling point here, and overall, it's it's solid. It's a little flimsy in terms of you know the plastic. It's Zuru, and it's thirty dollars. But I don't think it's gonna break uh, unless you're really, really, really manhandling it. So overall, the the quality of it is pretty well is is pretty good. And the look, man, the, the Zuru Skins line is freaking awesome. I mean, they, they really do good work. Uh, I love this design. I mean, they have the Zuru Skins, even on their small glasses, just the designs they put on these things are pretty cool. So they really do well with their Skins line. And I do like the design. I wish they were coming out with a, a few different options in the Skins, like they do with their other blasters. That would be freaking awesome. But uh, it is a cool looking blaster. Uh, and again, compatibility. So that's your standard mag that comes with it. Here's a 22 round worker. No problem, okay? What else? 18 round nerf. No problem. Dart zone, like I said, dart zone is compatible. And it, everything fits. Now with your, with your mag adapter, you pop in the mag adapter and you have the same compatibility. There's a talon mag, a straight talon, and you got your angle talon. Anything you want to do to this blaster in terms of just right out of the box compatibility, it, it works. Which is a really, really nice feature because, uh, you know, Hasbro and Nerf have been, been notorious for making sure that they do a lot of propri uh, proprietary stuff that won't work with anything else. Or you know, certain blasters only work with certain magazines, and it's just a, it's just a nightmare. The fact that they're coming out with stuff like this for the the hobby community that can be compatible with other stuff right out of the box and easy to mod. That's what we've been looking for for a long time, and, and we uh, we thank you for that. Zuru, thank you. That was that's a good uh, good plan. But the performance of this baby is is awesome as well. So. I'm going to take it to the crew. We're going to put it through its paces. Uh, it does come with 20 short darts and it comes with 20 full length darts. I, I mean, that's really cool. It comes with the ruby darts, which is really nice. Now, the, the darts that it comes with has a slightly different pattern on the tip of the dart than, than the, the ruby darts that you buy at Target. Uh, I haven't really noticed the difference in the way they fly, but I'm going to show you a little bit of everything just so we can... Uh, you know, compare apples to apples. So I'm gonna show you how this how this fires with uh, the ruby darts that it comes with. With the ruby darts you can buy at Target. Then I'm gonna show you what it does with the Adventure Force darts. I'm gonna show you some full length. I'm gonna show you some full width with the waffle. Then we're gonna take it outside. We're gonna do some of the long range accuracy and see how it should be formed. But for $30, this is a beast with everything you need right out of the box. Need I say more? Not really. But I probably will. So let's take it over to the chronograph now. We're going to run some different uh, ammo types through it, see how it does. And then uh, I'm going to show you with a couple different scar barrels on it. And we're, going to, we're going to do some accuracy and stuff like that. All right. So we got a little ways to go. Stick with me, guys. Okay. So first thing first, I'm going to be running. Uh, we'll, we'll do uh, six shots with the long darts. First, uh, darts that are included with the package. Then we will switch over to some waffles. 
see how those perform, and then um, we'll go to the short darts and do a couple different types of those and see if there's any difference between the darts. All right, so let's get this started. 108, 5, 99, 111, 5, 117, 142, 143, 143, 143, 143, 143, 143, 143, 143, 143, 143, 143, 143, some waffle darts now and see if there's any difference with those. Okay. 120 120.7, 126.9, 149.8, 153.5, 123.6, 147.2. So you get the idea on that. Wildly inconsistent, but it does hit some great numbers. All right, I'm gonna switch over to short darts now and see what that does, be right back. Okay guys, so again, we're gonna start off with the ruby darts and then we're moving over to the Adventure Force uh, darts that you could buy, uh, the short darts that you could buy at Walmart. Uh, so we'll see what the difference is between those. All right, so here we go. 4. 135.4, 115.4. 155, 8, 148, 9, 149, 8, 146, 2, 134, 134. We're into the Adventure Force now. Want that one hit? 132, 8, 4. 141, and we got one shot left, 127.5, so again, wildly inconsistent, but, you know, everything is still in uh, in decent range and does perform well, all right, so now let's take some accuracy uh, shots with it, actually, first, you know what, I'm going to put on a scar barrel and we'll see what it can do with the scar barrel, stick with me. Okay guys, so what's really cool is this thing is compatible with a lot of stuff. This is a worker scar barrel that you can get uh, from out of darts or from worker. This is their standard scar barrel that I like to use. It's compatible with a lot of different things. And then you have, this is the out of darts scar barrel. Now, either one of these is just immediately compatible with this blaster. All right, so we're gonna do the worker scar barrel all right, so basically all you do is pop it in where the other scar barrel went. And now you have a scar barrel. So this is going to probably give a little bit better accuracy, but let's see what it does to the numbers in, in terms of the chronograph. All right, I'm just going to do short darts on this one. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll throw some full length darts through as well, but we'll only do a few just to see what the difference is. 133.8. 193.5. 113 okay so not too bad uh, didn't really kill it too much in terms of the, the feet per second all right now some full length 132 5 120.3 106.6 117.7 so you know what not terrible in terms of loss of feet per second uh, still got the same same kind of consistency that we were getting right out of the gate but with this scar barrel it does give a nice snug twist to the dart so you are going to get better accuracy with it for sure i mean as you can see with these scar barrels the dart does not fall out this is the scar barrel that came with the and the dart just falls right through so a little hard to see sorry guys but yeah so the the one that comes with it really doesn't do anything in terms of accuracy but uh the added scar barrels that you can purchase uh do give it 
the twist that you need to get a little more accuracy. All right, so now let's take it to the range. Uh, we'll take a few shots at the rival. We'll start with the full length darts and then we'll switch over to short darts and then we'll do uh, some accuracy into the dart catch. All right, stick with me guys. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do a little bit of accuracy now. I'm gonna do five shots at the beautiful rival Jupiter target and then five shots at the top of the dart catch. Uh, I'm not going to worry about switching the scar barrel in here for the accuracy or or switching dart types. We'll worry about that outside and see how it performs from distance. That's where we really want to know where the difference is coming in. So for right now, we're just going to get your general accuracy from close range, about 25 feet, and see how it performs there. All right, so we're starting off with the, the scar barrel that's included, the muzzle brake that's included, and the magazine and darts that are included. This is everything that you get out of the package, all right? So five at the rival, and then five at the dart cache. Here we go. Right. Not a problem at all from this distance hitting your target. All right, switching over to short darts now and see what we got, but should be very similar, if not better. Not a problem at all, hitting what you need to. All right, so now let's take it outside and really put it through its paces and see what it can do from 50 feet plus. Stick with me, guys. Okay, guys, so we are uh, exactly 55 feet away from the target at the moment. Uh, I am going with the full length, full length ruby darts that came with it at first, and then I'm gonna switch over to the short darts. Actually, I'm gonna do the full length darts, then I'm gonna do uh, five shots with these, then I'm gonna do five shots with the waffle darts, then I'm gonna do uh, short darts with the ruby darts, then five with the adventure four darts. After that, I'm gonna switch over to the worker scar barrel and do five of each as well and see if there's any difference in the accuracy. All right, so let's get started. Here is the ruby darts, five shots. Darts are good darts, but the Adventure Force apparently are superior. Okay, um, I'm gonna switch over to short darts now and see what we got. Give me a second. Okay, so I got the Ruby short darts all loaded up. Five shots, same thing. Here we go. Okay, now I'm switching over to the Adventure Force. Uh, one more start and see what the difference is there. Okay, here we go. Wow. Not too shabby at all. Alright guys, give me a second. I'm going to switch to the scar barrel and see what the difference is there. I'll be right back. Okay guys, here we go. Five shots with three darts. Worker score barrel attack. Okay. That was the ruby darts. Now we're switching it over to the waffle switch performed a lot better without the scar, so let's see how it performs with the scar. Alright, here we go. Alright, so 
that could be an issue. If every once in a while when he hits that low up FPS, it doesn't give him enough points to get through the star barrel. So that can be a little bit of a problem, but the short darts is what we really want to see anyway. So let's uh, load up the short darts now and see what we get. Again, starting off with the ruby darts, and then we'll switch over to the uh, defensive darts. Here. There. I am shooting at a pretty small target. Now if you can hit this, a human will be a little bit easier. But <laughs> okay, so now adventure course is two. Alright, well not too bad. $30 pro blaster right out of the box. What else can you say? Let's take it inside. Go to the conclusion. Okay, guys, so the X shot, long shot from Zuru. Let's go to the good. It shoot, it, it fires at a, at a really good FPS right out of the box. I mean, we were hitting up to around 150 feet per second. Uh, a few sh a few shots went over 150 feet, but uh, it was consistently in the 130, 140 range. Uh, it, it was inconsistent, uh, as you can see from that the, the little bit of testing that I was able to show you. Um, the good things about it is the price point. You get a you get a lot with it. Uh, multiple magazines, the mag adapter, the iron sights, the scar barrel, the muzzle brake, 40 darts, you know, 20 short, 20 long. You get a lot in the package. That is a nice touch for that price. Uh, you really don't get that much with a lot of other blasters. Uh, you're lucky to get the blaster in a magazine. Um, compatibility, compatibility is very nice. Again, with magazine compatibility, um, you can use pretty much whatever magazine you, you want. Uh, if you want to get really crazy and you're using the full length darts, I mean, this is the way to go, is your, your drum. I mean, so that's, that's an option. Everything's in play. That is a, a real nice feature of this blaster. Um, accuracy, accuracy is, is spot on. There was a, a couple instances where the dart tailed away. It could have been user error. It could have been a, a bad dart. But for the most point, you know, you know, for the most part, those darts were on target in in that range. That is a very small target I have out there, and I have that for a reason. Um, if I can hit that small target, then I can hit a person, you know, running away. And the reason I like to do 50 feet is is 50 feet is your you know basic engagement zone. Um, most of the time you're, you're engaging from close quarters but if you can hit your target from 50 feet out or, or further then then you're getting into sniper status you know that that's that's a real nice uh, feature to have so when you can hit a target from 50 feet plus that that's really nice um, I was having a little bit better uh, result with the waffle darts than I was with the ruby darts but the ruby darts are good darts as as far as store bought uh, darts go. Uh, I would highly recommend uh, the waffle darts, it, you know, for a, a full length dart. Um, those are the only ones I use if I have to use full length. The waffle darts are, in my experience, the best in terms of full length darts. But the dart zone darts are not terrible. They are sure as hell not elite darts. Elite darts, you know what elite darts are, they're trash. So I would never use an elite dart, but yeah, dart zone or adventure force, but the adventure force waffles are recommended. Um, not too much of a difference between the Ruby uh, short darts and the adventure force short darts. The adventure force short darts for this round of testing seem to be a little bit more accurate, but you know, take that with a grain of salt. Um, it could go either way on that. It, again, it could be user error, it could be wind, it could be a bad dart, it could be a lot of different things. If, if five out of five hit with the Adventure Force and four out of five hit with the movie. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. All right, now into some of the, you know, some of the other good things is the feel. It's, it's, it feels awesome. I mean, this feels like a nice assault 
you know, uh, assault rifle. I mean, you have the adjustable stock, which is nice. You have the sling points, which is nice. You have the iron sights. What I did is, uh, you know, I should have done it for the testing, but I put a regular optic up on here uh, to make it a little more accurate, and then you get that zeroed in. But yeah, you can put any kind of optic on here. Um, there is a Picatinny rail underneath this foregrip, so you can change it for any foregrip you want. I did change this out with a worker straight uh, foregrip, you know, because I like the, the straight foregrip a little more than the angle. So I did change that at one point just to see how it feels, but there is a Picatinny under here. Um, this, again, compatible right out, right out of the box with most of the scar barrels you can find. Not all, some of the scar barrels are meant to go over, um, you know, over modified barrels, you know, the 17 millimeter barrels or whatever, but some of these are made to go over the barrel. This one actually fits in here or it can go over the barrel. So this, this slot here is actually, uh, it fits a little more than I, than I thought. Um, with the Max Striker and the Nexus, uh, very similar. You can squeeze this in there if you wanted to, um, and it does work, but it is nice that you can put a scar barrel right out of the, right out of the gate. Okay, some of the bad, uh, as you saw outside, uh, I did get a problem using the scar barrel. Uh, at one time, one of the darts did not completely re leave the blaster and got stuck. So that the second shot <laughs> fired in both. So it was a kind of like a little shotgun blast. Um, as you can see from the FPS and the, and the chrono testing that every once in a while, there was a, a low number, 110 you know 109 so when there's a low number like that and you're using a scar barrel like this if you're not getting a decent fps it's not going to leave the barrel uh so that's what happened now that could have been error on me uh i i don't know if i uh closed the seal completely maybe i could have made a mistake there uh it could have been a few different things or it could have been just one of them random uh low fps but when i did fire that one dart and it did not leave the blaster it did feel like i did not get a a good seal on it and it, it, it got stuck so that's what happened on that um it is zuru the plastic is a little flimsy and flexible and you know how it's going to hold up to the rigors of uh use is still unknown but uh it, it's not bad i mean unless you're really trying to i don't think you're going to break break this uh the foregrip is a little wobbly that's the only thing i'd be uh concerned about over you know constant you know stress but other than that it, it's not bad for for what you get i do have an upgrade kit for this uh plunger and some other stuff I, i'm gonna upgrade the spring and a few other things and see what i can do with this to get it to hit a little more not just harder but consistently 150 feet you know is good um, but I want it to be a lot more consistent, so that's what I'm going to work on. Uh, definitely a recommended buy. If you are new to the hobby or looking for something to get started with, you know, I've already talked about the Nexus Pro and the Max Striker, and yeah, those are great, but this is, this is even lower price point to get in, get started, get involved, and be competitive, and it gives you everything you need to, to play. So, I mean, yeah, that's an A-plus in my book. Uh, I really do like this blaster. I completely forgot. I had so many other things going on. I completely forgot about it. That's why I have not. It's taken me this long to do a review on it. But uh, yeah, this is definitely. Oh, it also has a little jam door here. I mean, that's something. Something else you don't see. I forgot about that. It's got that little jam door here. The other ones don't have jam doors, just in case. But um, it really is a solid blast. They have thought you have a, a slide release up top in case you get a jam or, or a problem. Um, so there is there is a lot to love about this blaster and for thirty dollars I mean you really can't you can't ask for much more for that price point you are getting pretty much everything you need so uh, I appreciate everybody for watching uh, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, I'm having a blast doing this and hopefully I can keep the content coming all right guys so thank you for watching again uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.